heard of a calendar. We've heard of Christmas. But how many of us have heard of Advent calendars? Well, I got a movie that Netflix has decided to come out with that shows us the magic of Christmas in an Advent calendar. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Welcome, you guys. Merry Christmas to another Wonderland Christmas film review. Yay! Netflix is coming out with all of these holiday movie specials. I can't keep up with them all. So I watched another holiday special starring the lovely, beautiful Vampire Diary star Cat Graham. In this movie, Cat Graham plays Abby, a photographer who is less than happy with her life at this point in time and she's not really a big believer in Christmas. She doesn't she's not full of the Christmas spirit. She's kind of over it. In fact, she's over her photography job working for a portrait studio and every year she takes portraits of Santa and the little kids in the in the town. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd rather be on a beach of Bora Bora too. During the movie, we have, we have Quincy Byrne who plays Josh. Josh is her very best friend in the movie and he comes back from his travels around the world and his travel vlog, um, or vlog. And he takes pictures. And he came back for Abby. Oh, true love at Christmas time. Wait. Hold on. There's more to this. <laughs> we also have Ron <laughs> Cypress Jones, who plays Abby's grandpa. Who is he, you ask? Wait, hold on. Hey. Well, the first day she got a pair of boots. So I'm gonna tell you about the toys that come out with the calendar. But the advent calendar also brings this guy named Ty into Abby's life. Ty is played by Ben Peck plays Ty. Ty is <coughs> Ty is apparently the most eligible bachelor who happens to be a single father whose kid happens to go to the same elementary school as Abby's niece. That's about all you need to know about Ty. So, Gramps knows about the calendar, knows about the magic the calendar happens. Gramps knows Josh is in love with Abby. Abby is kind of a Oh, Josh is just my best friend. Friend zone! <laughs> so during the course of the movie, Abby's following the calendar almost to a T, and then she makes the mistake of telling Ty about the calendar. We're gonna leave it right there. At that. Go watch the movie, because it's on Netflix. Go pop some popcorn, get your boyfriend, get your girlfriend. I ain't saying your bae, best but you want to cuddle and be lovey-dovey and warm with. Grab a blanket, grab some wine, grab some cocoa. Don't grab your kids. This is not. Take <laughs> no kids movie. Um, and go watch the holiday calendar. It's one of those romantic Christmas movie trope, tropey things that you know it follows the same formula. Uh. Girl despises Christmas, has a love interest, the love interest is blinded, or she's blinded from the love interest, interest in her, and then, you know, things happen, and suddenly there's a Christmas miracle, and everything is all happy again by the end. So, things I'd like, things I like.
like about the movie? I'm gonna say it. Some y'all gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna say it. Black girl, white guy, interracial couple. Bam. There we go. I like that about the movie. I like the fact that this is a woman who is an artist. She loves taking pictures. She's good at taking pictures. Her dreams are coming true because she's taking pictures. And she ain't let no one stop her from her dream. I did that on purpose, yes I did. <laughs> the thing I like about the movie, the cast. The cast is amazing. The guy that plays Ty makes you want to punch him in the face. <laughs> Every time Josh shows his affection for Abby and Abby is a clueless little airhead, you want to give Josh a hug and you want to go, Girl, don't you see that boy? Grandpa, you know Grandpa up to some shady stuff. Cause he just sit there walking around with his grandpa stuff. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm, I gave her that calendar and my grandbaby gonna figure it out. It's gonna take her a minute, she's gonna fall on the butt, but she's gonna figure it out. Oh, this movie is amazing. And it gives you the feels. Wait a minute, it gives you the feels. But if it's it, the what holiday movie does not. What am I going to give this movie? I'm going to rate it. A four out of five. Why? Because of the things I don't like. I don't like that it's tropey. I don't like that she basically friend zones the guy that his googly eyes. The whole movie, I don't like the fact that he made it obvious as obviously throwing himself at her and she's like, oh, I'm just going to drive my bus this way. Come on! But then again, women do tend to be clueless, but men also tend to be clueless, so I can't fault either one of them. The he should have just spoken up and said something, but that's why I got a four, because he didn't push himself on her. Respect for women. <laughs> you want a holiday movie to watch with your boo, <laughs> with your husband, with your girlfriend, you got a crush that you're trying to let them know, hey, I'm kind of into you. Jump on Netflix, watch the holiday calendar, get the Christmas spirit. Maybe you'll go out and carol and drink cocoa and build snowmen and have a snowball fight. Have a snowball fight. <laughs> nice and romantic. <laughs> do you like? Do you like this movie? Would you recommend this movie for somebody else? Please give me a big thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, right down below. And while you're down there, hitting the subscribe button, click the bell so you get notifications of when my new videos come out because I publish reviews on movies, on tech, on and I give tips, tricks, DIYs, all kinds of things on this channel. Plus, I release my short films and behind the scenes videos on my vlog channel so you can go down to links below, check out my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and go over to the vlog channel and check that out too. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. And have a happy Merry Christmas. Mwah. Be kind, be brave, be awesome. And remember, go out, create. Bye, ladybugs. <laughs>